Frankenstein, written by Joy Keller, illustrated by Ashley Below. Victoria Franken was a slime scientist. Her curiosity about slime was sparked when she stumbled upon a video of the slime making process. Inspired by her research, Victoria scoured the house for materials and set up a lab. Igor, fetch me my tools. Her early slime making attempts were simple, yet satisfying, smooth, stretchy. But it wasn't long before Victoria grew bored. She daydreamed about new slimes, slimes that had never imagined. Igor, we must experiment. Most of her slimes turned out to be, well, not so slimy. This didn't deter Victoria Franken. She took notes on every failed batch. Firework slime. No. She changed her approach. Shark tooth slime. No. She tried again. Poodle puff slime. No. And again. Balloon slime. No. And again. Bouncy ball slime. No. Until she created slimes that were truly amazing. Rainbow cloud slime, intergalactic space slime, glow-in-the-dark zombie slime. Soon people took note of her work. They dubbed her the Queen of Slime and lined up to get their hands on her latest concoctions. One night, an idea struck her. She sprang from bed and gathered her materials. Igor, to the attic! While a storm raged outside, Victoria poured and mixed and kneaded until... Zap! Victoria held her breath. Igor whimpered. The slime bubbled, then gurgled, then slithered over the top of the beaker. It's alive! Victoria could hardly believe the hideous quivering creature she made. She turned and ran. Igor, come! Cursing her chemistry skills, she flew down the stairs and slammed the attic door, safe from the slime on the other side, and she sank to the ground with relief, but not for long. She tried climbing to safety. Igor, up! But her goopy monster defied gravity. On the run once more, she took refuge under the covers of her bed. Igor, play dead! But her terrifying creation couldn't be deceived. Victoria was cornered. What do you want from me? She cried. The slimed ooze closer, a sharp object in its sticky clutches. Igor growled. Victoria cowered. The slime reached out and handed her, could it be, a pencil and her notebook? How foolish of her. In all the excitement of creating the slime, Victoria had forgotten an important scientific step, recording the recipe. It was a good thing the slime had remembered. From that day forward, Victoria had another lab partner. Goop didn't talk much, but they made an excellent team. Igor Goop, time to experiment. The end.